currently learning tenant museum. Finally, we are at the end of the level four. Do you remember what we have learned at this level? Yes, we learned it major minor plus major seventh chord, minor seventh chord, and sus four. So today we're going to review all these chords and use the chord in an actual song. Are you ready? Yes, let's go. Of course you know what is major and minor chords, right? If you don't know, you may have to go back to our previous lesson. Otherwise, it will be very confused. So briefly, if we go over the major and minor chord. Now, major chord is from bottom to the middle note should be four half steps, which is one, two, three, four. Yes. And from middle note to the top should be three half step, which is one, two, three. This is C major chord. Letter name is coming from the very bottom one. So this is family name. So if the bottom is C, then it should be C chord. And this is a C major. And what about the minor? Minor chord is opposite way. From bottom to the middle note should be three half step. And from middle note to the top should be four half step. So it will be one, two, three. So middle note actually goes half step down from the major chord. Then from middle note to the top should be automatically four. One, two, three, four. Do you see it? And the bottom and top note don't change it. Only the middle note is changed. That's what the major and minor chord. Do you remember that? Yes. Then what about C? seventh chord c seventh chord means c major chord plus minor seventh note which will be this is major minor seventh is you go three half step off from the top note so one two three this is the c seventh chord do you see it then how are you going to write it you have to write it e flat chord like this. So everything can be skip, 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 skip. Got it? Then what about C and 7? C major 7th chord means C major chord plus major 7th. So this doesn't change because it's a C major chord, but we have to change major 7th. Major 7th means from top note to the 7th note, it has to be 4 half step. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, like this. Do you see it? So, the difference major and minor chord will be the middle note is 4 half step or 3 half step. If it's a 4, then that's major chord. And if it's a 3 half step, that's the minor chord. The same way, major seventh is from top note to the seventh note. If it's four half step, that's major seventh. And from top note to the seventh note, if it's three half step, then that's going to be minor seventh chord. Then how do we write it? If we write the letter plus just regular seventh means minor seventh chord. Then what about if we want to write it minor chord plus minor seventh chord then we write this way c m means c minor chord plus above seven means minor seventh chord then how it will be now we first have to find c minor chord so which will be from here to one two three half step and then from middle note to the top will be or half step so one two three four so this is a c minor chord and we have the n minor seventh chord which will be from here to three half step up so one two three so this will be c minor seventh chord how do we write it like this C minor 
major seventh chord. Oh, is there a chord like that? Yes. There is minor seventh chord or minor major seventh chord. A lot of time in the jazz music. Let's see, what is the chord? First, we need to find minor chord plus add it for half step to be a major seventh chord. So, one, two, three, four. This is C minor, major seventh chord. Got it? Yeah, that's what we did actually in this level. What about letter like this? G7 means just letter G stands for G major chord. And then number seven means minor seventh chord. So first we have to find G major. Where is it? G major. Starting from here, G major. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. Four half step from middle note to the top will be three half steps. So one, two, three. This is a G chord. And then we need minor seventh. So we need three half step up. One, two, three. This is G seventh chord, which means G major plus minor seven. Then what about this one? Hmm. Letter D stands for D major chord. And above that, M seven means major seventh chord. So first we have to find D major chord. Where's D? Starting from here, if it's a major, four and a half step from bottom to middle note. So one, two, three, four. So we need this black key, and then from here to the top note should be three and a half step. So one, two, three. Like this. This is D major chord, and then from top note to the seventh note we need four half step to be a major seventh chord so one two three four so we need another sharp on c so if you're looking at the note it will be like this d f sharp a c sharp how do we know this will be f sharp instead of g flat because we need a skip, skip, skip. All note has to be skip. It can be above the letter. If it's a G, then it will be more than skip. Do you see it? So it has to be F sharp instead of G flat. Got it? Yes. Then what about like this? A, M, 7. What does A, M mean? stands for a minor chord plus minor seventh note. So we have to find a minor chord plus minor seventh. Where is a minor chord? Starting from the A and go up three half steps since it's minor. So one, two, three. And from middle note to top will be four half step. So one, two, three, four. So it will be like this. This is a minor chord. And then from top note to the seventh note has to be four or three. Three half step because it's a minor seventh. So it goes one, two, three. So this is a minor seventh chord. And Everything is escaped from A to skip, 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 and no sharps and flats written. Got it? Then what about this one? E, M, and 7. What it means? E minor chord plus major 7th chord. So we first have to find E minor chord. Now, E minor chord starting from the E and you go up three half step. Yes. One, 
two, three. And from middle note to the top will be four half steps. So one, two, three, four. This is E minor chord. Now what about and seven means major seventh. So we need from top to four half step goes up. So one, two, three, four. So we'll be wow, it looks really far and weird, right? Now, how do we write it on note? E, G, B, and from D sharp instead of E flat. Why? Because see, it has to be all skip. The letter name has to be skipping it. Got it? So this is a D sharp. Then, what about next one? D minor seventh chord. It means D minor chord plus minor seventh chord. So we first have to find D minor chord starting from the D and three half steps. Yes. So one, two, three. And four half step. One, two, three, four. This is D minor chord and seven stands for minor seven. So three half step up from the top note. So one, two, three. This is D minor seventh chord. And it will look like this on the score. So whenever you see this letter, then you have to play this note. So this is kind of our symbol to figure it out the note. Instead of drawing all these notes, we just write the letters with numbers and we know what to play. Then we learn sus chord. C sus means from the C chord. Of course, it has to be C major chord. From sus means you just go up, half step up. That's sus chord. The sus came fourth. So you add in fourth note instead of third one. That's what the sus means. So if there is a G sus four, how do we find it? First find G major chord. So G major chord from sus four. You just go half step up. This is G sus four. What about E sus four? So you start from the E and find E major chord. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three. So this is E major and sus four. The middle note will be half step up. This is E sus four. It's very simple, right? What about A sus four? First, you have to find A major chord, which is like this. Right? One, two, three, four. And then from this middle note, you just go half step up. And we write it like this, A sus four. So whenever you see this letter, A sus four, you have to play this chord. Right? So we all learned this major chord, minor chord, major seventh chord, minor seventh chord, and sus four. In whole entire lesson. Now this time I will play it on the piano. You have to find what kind of chord it is. Okay? Where is the letter? First you have to find the letter in the bottom. So this is F and we have more than three notes so it's gonna be seventh chord. What we have to find is this F major chord or minor chord first. So let's find it. One, two, three, four. So it will be, yeah, F major chord. And then this time you have to find it. Is this minor seventh chord or major seventh chord? One, two, three. So it will be minor seventh chord. So F major minor seventh chord. It's just letter F, 7s will be. So it will be F7. Got it? Oh, it's weird to sound. It used a lot of time in the jazz music. How do we write it? Letter G. 
energy plus M7, capital M. Got it? That's what this word is. All right. If you are not sure about major and minor, major seventh chord, minor seventh chord, then there's no way you can recognize augmented and diminished chord without knowing all this stuff. So you have to know this. In this level, we learn or this major chord, minor chord, major seventh chord, major minor seventh chord, and minor seventh chord, or minor major seventh chord. There's a lot of different chords, right? Even sustain, too. With this symbols, what we do is we read the symbols and play the music. Like this. Ta-da! Yes. So, in the next video, we're going to review the chord patterns that we have learned in this level, and we're going to play some music with reading the symbols. Until the lesson is abroad, I want you to keep practice other songs that I'm posting. There's a lot of techniques and classical songs will be abroad from now. So you can just watch, and if you like the song, play around and see. Our review lesson will be continued next video. Too. And I will see you soon. Bye!